Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I don't normally go through a lot of endorsements of apps, um, but this one, being that it's getting towards the end of the year, I thought you might appreciate this. And so, I wanna go through what's called the Milebug app, and it's right down here. I'm gonna go back to that, sorry. I'm gonna tap on that. And we get right into this. Uh, as a quick glance, 30,000 feet above the air here, we're gonna take a look at uh, what it does basically is, it keeps track of all my mileage. And, uh, it, and I shouldn't say mileage, it keeps track of my trips throughout the day. And so uh, I've got a couple of trips to add. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add this. I'm gonna go into add, I click on frequent trips. I click on uh, this morning, I was right away at, I started out at Whittier. And then from Whittier, I went to Edison. And I just happened to have a trip for that. So I click on Whittier to Edison and I hit save and I go from Edison back to ITS and I hit save. Now, you're probably wondering, whoa, did you just take those trips right now? You can get very granular on this, but uh, for me, I, I don't because it doesn't really matter the time. When I go into the website to, uh, on the Insight website to plug in my information to get reimbursed, it, you know, it doesn't really ask me what times I've got on there, so I, I don't really worry about that too much. Um, I mean, you can if you want to. If it was like yesterday, I forgot to put mileage, then I put in Thursday. I save that, and then I put in my uh, my trips. So let's talk a little bit about setting this up. All right, so we're gonna go into presets, and it's got some settings in here. Uh, you can change this to miles, trip list, or add trip when you open it up. Types and rates, I don't get too much into this. Uh, there's you know, business, charity, medical, other. I don't even, I, I don't even know why I have these on here. Um, oh, I guess I can't delete them because I'm using, I don't know where I'm using them at, but uh, regardless, if I wanted to add a new rate, let's say I wanted one for school, I just type in you know, school, business type. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't even mess with that even. Like, cause every every entry that I have is right into business. So, uh, with businesses, I've got school, charity, medical, personal. Like I said, I don't really need to add any of that stuff. Expense category. I mean, if you wanted to get like very granular, you can get into the weeds on this and get um, deeper into what works for you. You know, if you're using two different vehicles, you know, you maybe you can want to keep track of that. I just get my car and go, and I really don't want to mess around with a lot of the presets in here anyway. So, let's go into trips. To get this set up, you're probably wondering, like, wow, how did he get all these trips set up? Well, the first thing is, is that you start out with your very first destination. And you, if you don't see your destination in there, you or your, uh, your starting point, origin, you add it in there. And so you type it in there, and then you hit save. Uh, so let's, let's put in Sullivan. Destination, if I go in here, you put in your destination. If you don't see your destination in here, you just type it in there, and you hit save. And so, so let's do destination, let's do Axtell part. Purpose, now, it's like you have no purpose. And then like A, that's very reassuring, but B, I really don't care what the, I mean, the purpose for me is just, it, I don't really need to put the purpose on here. If you want to get granular and like purpose is personal or purpose is business or purpose is school, that's that's up to you. I'm not going to worry about that. You can change the vehicle in here. Now your odometer, you do need to put in like what an odometer, you, know, you need to put something in here. And for me, I just put like, you know, one mile. And so hit save. Um, I might eventually use that someday. Um, and what I want to do is I want to save this to my favorite trips. Anytime you have a new trip in here, you want to save it. And so it's added to my favorite trips. I'm not going to save this at all. I'm going to hit cancel. And then what I'm going to do here is if I go in and uh, let's say I want to find that trip again. So there's Annie Sullivan to Axdale Park. I click on that and it saves it in there. So, um, and then hit save and it goes in. 
So let's say you accidentally uh, put this in and it's the wrong day. I can click on that, change the date down there, or I can swipe and delete. So the reports on this is great. I can export this as an HTML, CSV, or both. Uh, you can put the date range on here from the beginning of the year or whenever you turn in your mileage, that's, that's fine. And then you can also add filters to this as well. Uh, let's go back into the trips. One thing I wanted to add in here is uh, on here, let's say I, I go to a frequent trip like Andy Sullivan Axel Park and I want to just change the destination or the origin. You just type on here or click on here and change this, let's say Eugene Field. And uh, I really don't need to change the odometer settings just because I don't, you know, the school already has predetermined mileage for those destinations, so I'm not even going to worry about it. It's just like a one, for me, I just count it as one mile. If you want to put those in there, that's up to you, but there's so many locations that I travel to that I'm not going to worry about uh, entering all that in. I would enter in to uh, favorite trips again, just tap that. And it doesn't change my original setting of what I had, my original preset uh, or trip. It just uh, makes a new one. And then you hit save and, uh, and you're there. So other than that, uh, to back up, you can access uh, the cloud, which I don't do. I just email myself a backup email. Put in my, let's put in chris.paul.martin. You can send it to your K-12 email address. There it is. Uh, and then hit send, and you've got a backup. So from there, uh, when I go back into my reports, uh, you can send. And mail it to yourself again. And so great part is then uh, I print that out, and I can enter that in on my uh, Insight page. So thanks much for watching. I hope this is uh, helpful, and uh, have a great day. Thanks.